So here we have a, a slightly different plot in as much as we're in the round again. In the round has always over the years proved to be a little difficult because you have so many boxes in so many different places and you have nowhere, particularly for sub-base, that you can couple any of the boxes together to get the extra energy that you require to do this kind of show. So we toyed with it and we, we thought, what can we do here to get the, the sub-power to be what we need? It's pretty obvious that all the subs uh, needed to be in one place. They needed to couple. Now, that doesn't really leave you many places to go. We looked at doing it under the stage uh, and entered into a, a, a new type of sub-design with Maya. We tried it, we, we thought about it, we looked at what would happen and we decided it was a bad idea due to the fact you can't generate that amount of energy right at the, the very the edge of the stage. And plus the fact the stage will probably be lifting up off the ground it's a little bit. to go 90 degrees up and You know what I mean? It's, 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 not, not, it's not gonna do that. So then that really only left one place and that's right over the top. Shut up! Heavy metal. So we, we entered into conversations with various people and uh, I predominantly deal with the European design guys, Luke Jenks, Thomas Moondorf, um, Curry, all good guys. And Thomas said, look, if we're going to go over the top, I have an idea. So he came up with the array we're using now, which we've been told we can't call the Thomas Moondorf array. So we are going to, from Two this point design. forward, it will be known as the TM array. Uh, and Thomas came up with the whole idea, did all the numbers, and the array 10 deep forms such a powerful control beam. We first did it in Berlin at uh, O2 Arena when we did a promo tour with a band and we did it in the O2 in London. And I must admit, I was quite speculative about it. I didn't think it was going to work. The first thing I said, this better damn work, because if it don't... We didn't really know if it was going to. <laughs> and it did, it was spectacular. And we've never had even sub-coverage, ever. Uh, and we've tried ever so hard. We've had some fantastic arrays. It, just the nature of the beast in the round array systems are very, very difficult. And as soon as you start dotting subs all over the place, you're just creating problems for yourself. Mm -hmm. So when Thomas Mundorf come up with the plot of putting all the subs in the middle, fantastic. This does incredible amounts of real sub low energy. It's very difficult to get the punchy uh, 63 hertz kind of punch. That's difficult, you've got to bring that out because obviously it's swelling all around the venue. But the fact that it puts base absolutely everywhere is a first for in the round. And you can ask any engineer that's ever mixed a show in the round, they all will say the same thing. It's very, very difficult to get an even coverage throughout the venue, particularly in the low frequencies. So if just having some subs everywhere works fantastic. Originally, uh, it was kind of a no-go, this sub array, uh, because of the weight issues, venue trim height, Lots of problems. But we forged forward and did it in Europe. We did it in the O2 in London and in Berlin. And we proved the theory that it actually worked. And the worked. band had a lot of feedback from so many people with inside the industry and how spectacular it was that they said, I don't care what you do in the US, we've got to try and get, we've got to try and get the subs we've in the middle. We've got to work a way to make it happen. So we did. And that's it. Here it is. So the band was involved as well, and that was due to the feedback from the two successful shows. We've done in the round now with Metallica for over, wow. oh, so I think the first one was in 91, 92, so we've been doing in the round for nearly 17 years with all configurations of PA, and this is the most, this is the most even and even SPL, lateral and horizontal that we've ever been able to be able to achieve. Thomas Mundo. Thomas Mundo. <laughs> TM array. <laughs>